please welcome the three Ronald L. Jensen Award for Lifetime Achievement honorees for this year, Brandy Chastain, Mia Hamm, and Julie Foudy. These are, don't let no, you're doing all the talking. No, I'm on the end. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Uh, first and foremost, can we do some housekeeping? Someone lost their earring. All right, go ahead. Uh, can we do some housekeeping first? Someone lost their <laughs> earring earlier and I found it. So if you're missing your earring, I have it. Anyone? $200! 4104. Right, right. <laughs> Get your paddles up! <laughs> Guy once! <laughs> oh my It'll God. be right here. <laughs> uh, so. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi, Mike. Don't let me forget to do this. I, Speaking I of housekeeping, <laughs> thank you. I'm not taking any envelopes. I, I thought you <laughs> brought hey, notes. Hey, I'm in charge here. <laughs> I thought you brought notes. <laughs> um, Need a check? Hmm. <laughs> I don't want it. This is what happens with the three of us, Michael. Are you done? Yes, yeah, yeah, any time. Sorry. Apologies. Uh, by the way, t typical Billie Jean, she steals the phrase <laughs> thunder. I was going to go for the Lifetime Achievement Award joke. Yeah. That was, the other thing about the video that was great is what the heck was Kate doing in a car? Did you <laughs> um, that? That's bad parenting. <laughs> <laughs> driving and definitely driving. Videoing. Um, so, so there are like 8,000 things I can, I can ask you all. Um, I'm going to just start with the, the beginning. When did you realize that the 99ers were something beyond a team? Captain? Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> gosh, you have to start with the hard hitting first, huh, Mike? Yeah. Deep. When did I? When did we realize the 99ers were more than a team? That was um, the question. Good stalling tactics. Good. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll tell you one of the one of the things. This is one of my favorite stories. When we would go into a. Um, this is not really answering the question, but it's a good story. Uh, so when we would go into a roster selection, so right before a World Cup or an Olympics, um, for example, Tony DeChico was the coach of our 90, 1999 World Cup team. We would go in, Carla and myself as one of the captains and maybe a few other on that leadership group, and we would say to Tony, we would like to select player 18, 19, and 20 on the roster. And he'd say, excuse me? And we'd say, we would like to select the last three on the roster. You select everyone else, but we want you to have our input to the last three on the roster. And we would say to him, we would want these player, this player, and this player, right? And the interesting thing is, the common denominator we realized with every team that won an Olympics and a World Cup, was that if we got 18, 19, and 20 right, we were winning, yeah. right? And that's the players we, we're the three of us sitting up here, right? But the players we celebrated were the ones who never got any minutes, the ones who were starters and then moved to the bench. And then, of course, they're frustrated, we're all competitive, but they never were able to get in there and maybe got a few minutes, um, but we're, the greatest team players and understood the role that they played. Mia, and that's, that's team to me. Mia, was there, was there a, because in so many ways, you were the first face of, of a lot of this. What, was there a moment, a, a specific point that you realized this is much bigger than just a soccer team? I, you know, we, we as a team, talked about it all the time in terms, and, and it's more the conversations of who did you look up to when you were growing up? What athlete did you aspire to be? And most of our responses were one, sports we didn't play. Um, and if they were team sports, they were men. So most of the time, the women that you know I followed, um, 
Chris Everett, Jackie Joyner Kersey, they were all individual sports. And, and so for us, we were like, wouldn't it be cool to, like, for this just to get crazy over the top and that, you know, the next generation looked at not just us as individuals, but, but everyone that got to put on the jersey see themselves in our shoes, that their, their heroes resembled them and had their hair color and were from their background. And so I, it, it was a conscious thought to, to dream bigger, like Jules said, to, to be better and to open the doors. Um, you know, what was really crazy is when you, so, when you showed Billie Jean up there, everyone became quiet. Because right. I like, I want to hear this woman. Yeah. And <laughs> we were all the same way. Like, it, you know, we, we have stood on her shoulders and what she's done. And she, she was a huge inspiration for all of us. You know, that's you all now. When you guys talk, everybody wants to hear what you say. And, and the cool thing is, it's not moms and daughters only, it's dads and sons too. Because we all see everything you did as representing America, period, not just girls. So it's really been pretty cool for all of us to see that as well. Do you, do you think that's because Brandy took her shirt off? <laughs> it was inevitable. You know, like, I was just, I mean, really, I'm just saying. I'm I was just, just really trying to do this without going there. <laughs> so you only took like four minutes to wait, Brandy, my plan. Come on, tell a story three days ago or a week ago in the plane, real quick. Sorry, sorry, Mike. What in the plane when you're when you're you're flying? Oh, the one about yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Um, I got on a plane to go somewhere. Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah, can't remember. <laughs> and my son was supposed to be coming with me and he didn't come. And they were wondering like, what, where was the passenger? So they said, everybody's on the plane. Is there a Brandy Chastain on this flight? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Is there a passenger supposed to be with you? Yeah, he's not coming. Uh, how was it celebrating? <laughs> like, like, oh, where's your shirt? Uh, where's your shirt? <laughs> so, thank you very much. And then everybody cheered. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, very nice. Are you serious? That happened on oh, the plane? Yeah, Two yeah weeks like ago. a week ago. Two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. That's so yeah. Pretty cool. Never going to die, thanks to Julie. <laughs> So, so just, just so you know, Brandy used the extra seat to do like crunches the <laughs> entire up. flight. Don't fall. It's awesome to be here. <laughs> were, you, were you just doing dips? <laughs> <laughs> you, th <laughs> you thought this was going to be much different, didn't you? No, actually, knowing the three of you, not at all. So what table am I at? Am I table, tw table 23, where are you guys? Let's say hi. Ask, the, ask table 23, what was I doing before this interview? I was drinking wine. I knew that I had no shot here. So was just like, give up and go. Uh, so Brandy and Mia, you're both coaching now. And that, that's, a, that's a pretty different and a pretty interesting perspective to have. Uh, and given the room with a lot of coaches, but also given the accomplishments, me, I'm going to start with you because I want to tell a story about Brandy too in a second. Uh, just what, what are you getting out of coaching as somebody who has been coached most of your life and people expect these things out of you that are probably not expected out of coaches? What are you getting out of it? I, I think this is my penance for... Um, <laughs> the years of pain and anguish I caused my coaches <laughs> who pretty, I don't even know why I'm here, Mike. <laughs> I was, I was told by so many, you're really difficult to coach. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no. Um, listen, I, 
I think for me, I coached my daughter's team for two years. And one is I was tired of walking, watching her play and hearing for so many young girls, don't, don't do that. And I was like, okay, rule number one is my friend and I coach together. I was like, you will never hear that word when we coach. Don't, can't, whatever. It's like, if you want to dribble five players, go on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so when we went through all the player evals, like some random dad wrote, doesn't pass the ball. I'm like, I'll take her. <laughs> 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 Love it. I don't want her to pass the ball. I, I want, and, and so that's what motivated me is that, you know, these girls are going to hear enough of, you know, don't stand out, don't be a, don't be a show off, um, that I wanted to kind of overturn the apple cart and say, do it. Love it. Embrace it. Be, be awesome. that. Um, because I, I didn't want my daughter to feel that um, going after it and taking ownership of what you do and who you are was a bad thing in, in any way. That's awesome. So at the reception earlier, some of the great student athletes, young student athletes in the room are selling raffle tickets. And this really awesome young woman came up to me in her soccer jersey. I think she's number 45. Her name's Piper. She came up to me. Is it, where are you, Piper, are you here? She's back there. Where, hi, Piper. <laughs> Piper came up to me, and I'm sorry I'm embarrassing you, uh, if I am. But you shouldn't be embarrassed. You should be really proud of this. Piper came up to me and asked me about buying raffle tickets, whatever, whatever. And uh, I said, um, she told me that Brandy coaches her. And I said, really? I said, can you tell me, tell me what kind of coach Brandy is? And I won't give you all the details, not to embarrass both. But no, this is, I, I hate to be serious, but I am being serious. She went on for about a minute and a half of the most awesome comments you could ever yeah. hear about a coach, about Brandy as a coach, including being somebody who is like her, is a woman who is coaching her, that she exactly wants to be like and does all those things that really inspire her. Yeah, which said so much about. <laughs> it says so much about a lot of the coaches in the room because that's the impact that you have. You inspire people. So now that I've thoroughly embarrassed you, mm -hmm. but didn't do crunches. You like almost Jules, made me cry. So. Just uh, if you could just talk about what you're getting out of coaching at this point in your life. Well, I, I've been influenced by some amazing coaches. So first, I want to say thank you to them. And one of them is sitting in this room, um, Jerry, my husband here from Santa Clara University. Um, he taught me a, a lot about the work ethic, the love, the passion, the dedication that it takes to be on a team and what that means. And he continues to do that and has been here at Santa Clara for over 33 seasons. So he shows me, like Charlene tonight, um, that it's a lifelong journey. And so I, I'm going to be honest and say that coaching is a, self, a selfish act by me because I love being on the soccer field <coughs> and I always have. And every day I feel, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, no, that I was get not talk. intentional. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make for great videos. <laughs> we need a cough button here. <laughs> um, but every day I'm on the field, uh, I get excited. Uh, I'm, you know, I feel more enthusiastic. Uh, I really hope that I'm helping make a difference. Um, and for me, ultimately, at the end of the day, when you see that young player or that young person, <laughs> see, so awesome to have teammates. When you see that young person with that light in their eyes, their eyes are so big, like they've done something and they own that skill, like having composure. I'm with you. I'm here with you, Brandy. 
It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Problem with these these two. We we, we should do a morning show. <laughs> we were getting mic'd up in the back, and the poor audio guys. I was like, I apologize. <laughs> I mean, I, we couldn't stop giggling. <laughs> Sorry, Brandy. That was an amazing answer. <laughs> it brought me to tears. <laughs> Sorry, I coughed. I love it. I really love you so much. Mike, you okay? You... Yeah, is this being recorded? Because I really want to host the Olympics in 2020. This could be the end of my career. Well, this is a fiasco. No, you're doing great. You're handling you're great, it with Mike. great professionalism. Great. They, they have not two started other people recording because it's still 20 minutes. Did you notice that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 the clock in my head is going. because they, they, there's. So just so you guys know, there's a clock up here that tells the speakers how long to go. And the clock has been violated many times tonight. <laughs> and they never bothered to start the clock for us, for them, not for us, for them. Um, all right, so I'm going to move here. I'm going to do something because this is the middle. I feel like this is the middle of the evening. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> are we ready to announce the winners of the Brandy and Julie signed jerseys? Yeah, oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I hope I win. Do I have a student athlete who can jump up here and let me know who the winners are? Oh, come on up. All of you come up. I'm not gonna Come pick on. one. Come, Come on, on. Come on. Uh, this is my team. This is y'all. Oh, this is oh. Brandy's team. Okay. This is my team. All right. Come on. Come on, girls. Looking Come on, good. ladies. Yeah. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up in the middle. Come on. One of you Here. hold. Hold each, the jerseys yeah, out. Hold the jerseys. Hey, hold the jerseys out. There you go. Piper, head, pass the Rock jerseys on. down there. Who's got the numbers for us? Hi, guys. I like you, number nine. Oh, you got numbers over there. <laughs> oh, yo, so Julian. Oh, okay. okay. I got, this is, the, you don't have a mic on, do you? Here, here you go. <laughs> here, you say my mic. Okay. Can you announce, this is the winner for Jules. For yours. For my jersey. Jeez. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Your name is Julie. 6460. Yeah! Yeah! 6460. <laughs> do you have to be present to win? Do we have one? 64. Boy. <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah, I sound Good talk. I sound Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. Yeah. Brandy's. All right. Yeah. Here, Seriously, uh, is there not a table 64 back there? No? Or a right. ticket? Somebody will figure out what we're going to do. Brandy. Yes. Read hers. Okay. Um, Here. This is Piper, Ooh. by the way, who I embarrassed Piper, before. Yeah, Piper. <laughs> yeah, Piper. Go ahead. Go. You're fine. You got it. Two, three, oh, two. It's my two, three, oh, two. Nobody's here. There you go. That's at our table. All right. Yes. You get the brandy jersey. <laughs> why, why don't you guys bring bring him the jersey over there? Two, table three, oh, two. Take that to twenty three. There you go. Yeah, that one. Oh, take it, take it, take it, take it. Good job, you guys. And we will get another number for Julie's jersey. How about that? Thank Perfect. you, ladies. Let's have a great hand for these terrific athletes. Thank All you. All right. Thanks, Ryan, for coming up. You look very handsome. Yes, today, by the way. Yeah, you look good. All right. Thank you, okay. gang. Walk on that way. Walk on that way. There you go. Keep walking. Walk This off. is coaching right here. Well, keep going. <laughs> as far that way as you can. It's like a wall. They listen very well. Good like coaching. That's <laughs> good coaching. Two steps. They're awesome. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> you can go. You're good. We're going to give it away. We're going to figure Later. We're going to get another. You hold on to it for a couple minutes. Yeah. Somebody will tell us how to give it good away. Job, girls. Uh, okay, so now I'll go back to the interview. <laughs> because my qu actually, I did my questions on the back of the dinner menu. <laughs> so, really prepared. Captain, um, I, I asked me and Brandy about coaching because they are involved in coaching. You're very involved in, in leadership. I, I will say with great pride, uh, my daughter is one of the many young women who've gone through the Julie Foudy Leadership Academy, and it is, it is really awesome for, for the young women because the sports part of it is truly part of it, 
Can you just talk about the leadership that you see mm. in the young women who come through your camp now uh, many, many summers, over a decade of doing it? Well, the, the neat thing is the, the genesis of the Leadership Academy is these women right here and watching my national team teammates, because I grew up thinking leadership was a very uh, narrow definition, that you had to be in a position of power, you had to be a president, you had to be a CEO, you had to be a celebrity or someone famous, uh, or loud, or a general sitting on top of a horse. And then I got around these amazing women, and I'm watching them, and mind you, we played together for two decades. So we got to know each other really well, as you can see. And I'm watching them lead in so many different ways. For example, our superstar, Mia Hamm, who carried the responsibility and sometimes the burden of having to do every photo shoot, every interview, everyone wants to talk to her, everyone wants her signature, right? Mia's a very shy person who didn't want to go on the stage and accept a speech. She would thank everyone, including the postman and the parking lot attendant and the massage therapist, right? And all her teammates before she would take credit for anything. And I'm watching the way she led, you know, and I'm watching the way Brandy, who has this contagious energy and positivity and fun that's so infectious, you want to be around it. And I'm watching, uh, you know, a Joy Fawcett who didn't speak for the first 10 years on the national team. <laughs> and we thought, what's wrong with Joy? <laughs> Something's wrong with her. But then we quickly realized when jo Joy spoke, even though there was only a few words to it, you were like, shut up, Joy is talking. <laughs> And Joy had this wisdom that would come out. Um, and so I'm watching all these different things and quickly realizing like the beauty of our team and why it worked is we had all these different types of leaders. There, w there wasn't always the one who was in you know, the loudy fowdies or the rowdy fowdies. It was a real combination of cerebral and personal and emotional and loud and all of it. And it worked. And, and I think that's the thing that I want to pass on to, to young people. And we in particular do it for young girls. Because I think a lot of young kids think, I have to be the leader in terms of a person in a position of power. And leadership isn't positional, it's personal. Um, and that's I learned from these guys. So as the three of you see, they started the clock on us. Yeah. And it went from 20 too. minutes to a minute 40. <laughs> <laughs> that, that won't get us more time, trust us. Um, so on, I'm going to ask you to leave the, co <laughs> the coaches and the people who have their lives, because we all have our lives impacted by coaches in some way if you're involved in sports, whether you root for a team or you're the youth in this room who are being coached or the coaches. We have Lionel Hollins, by the way, a terrific coach for many, many years in the NBA, who's a big part of PCO's here tonight. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Lionel, one of my favorite people to deal with in my many years in the league. It's great to see you and your wife here tonight. Can you leave, each of, each of you leave in 30 seconds or so, a message about positive coaching and the impact that it has on the youth of America going forward? Brandy, you're first. Oh, man, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> they laughed during the whole time I talked last time. <laughs> I understand. That's uh, why I'm letting you go first. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I won't cough. No, every, <laughs> everything, every lesson I've learned has come inside the lines of whether it was the baseball field, the soccer field, the basketball court. Um, and I use those lessons for everything I do in my regular life, um, in trying to be a better parent, a better partner, a better friend, um, dealing in business. And so what I would say is to all the coaches here, you already get it, but to what you can give to other coaches out there is embrace those kids. Like Charlene said, the kids need us. and. For us to do the best job we can is to help them have an enjoyable experience. Because if they have an enjoyable experience, they'll come back. And when they come back and they do it more often, they'll find the success that they're looking for, and then they'll pay it forward to someone else. Jules? 
Don't take my answer. That was more than 30 don't, seconds, by the way. Don't take my answer. Um, Shut it, Jules. <laughs> Why does she get to answer another question? Um, <laughs> because I'm going to let Mia go last. <laughs> um, I would say celebrate others. We don't do enough of that in life, and we were really good at that. Celebrate others, take care of others, and when you create a culture where you feel accepted and loved and lifted, we're winning regardless. And we don't have that right now in our lives, I feel like. And so that is what I cherish the most. I have my Stanford soccer team here, right? A lot of, and same thing. I've been part of these amazing groups. My family, I mean, that's, you create that and you're winning. <clears throat> yep. Mike. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I think, you know, listening to the incredible coaches that were up here, what they talked about uh, consistently was helping each individual athlete understand their value. And I think a lot of the times we, we don't take the opportunity to let people know the influence and the impact they have in their lives and why, um, what they bring um, that inspires you every single day. It was one of the things that I really cherish about our team and our leadership that uh, they really gave everyone a sense of um, purpose and value. And, and I think that's, you know, in the end, that's all each of us want as people. How, how do I, where do I fit in your life? What can I do to be better? And um, so I think for us, that's, that's important moving forward. So, um, so on behalf of our family, as a thank you to not just you guys, but to PCA, which I candidly did not know much about before tonight, before this month really, when Julie asked, hey, can you come out and do this? Um, and as any of you can tell in this room, you don't tell Julie no, ever. <laughs> um, our, our family is gonna donate uh, $1,999 to PCA on behalf oh, of the no. 99ers. Hey. Because, nice one. Thanks, well, because it's not the dollar amount, it's the, it's the respect that I think we all have for all of you because the cool part of getting to know you all is that this is 20 years and it's never about you guys. It's about everything that the team what represented. It's about our country, it's about your sport, it's about girls, it's about women, it's about America. And uh, it's, it's the biggest lesson you all have sent to the rest of the world of sports. That it doesn't have to be about look at me, I'm great, next question, all the stuff that is today's <laughs> sports. 20 years ago, you guys set a template and a bunch of folks have been um, neglecting their own self-interest and not following the model you all have set out. So on behalf of the many people in the room and uh, all of us who've enjoyed what you all have accomplished for 20 years, thank you very much. This was so awesome. Thank you, Mike. Can't think of a better group to win a Lifetime Achievement Award at their very young age, and Brandy <laughs> Chastain, Mia Hamm, and Thank Julie you. Foudy. Thank you. Love you, mamas. Jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, I don't know. All right, so, 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 what so, so. Oh, yeah. If you've been to a PCA event over the last few years, you know that All there's right. going to be some fun at the end. Thank you, man. As if there wasn't enough fun in the middle. Oh, Jules, here's yours. We have some signed soccer balls. They're going to be heading out to the audience very shortly. Even though they're soccer balls, you can use your hands to catch them, okay? So we've got a bunch of student Protect athlete volunteers who are up here, and they are going to, uh, these are signed, by the way, oh. by Mia, Julie, and Brandy. Before the chaos, thank you everyone.